Come inside, don't be shy, Jolene can't wait to meet you For a trailer park Christmas, the trailer park way With a brand new recipe every day Sending videos from her trailer, yeah she's Jolene Sugar Baker Come and spend the holidays, the trailer park way Hi there Trailer Park fans, it's Jolene Sugarbaker, the Trailer Park Queen, and welcome to the Trailer Park Taste Kitchen, and welcome to another edition of Cooking with Jolene, the Trailer Park Cooking Show, where I teach you how to live on a budget and do it the Trailer Park way. Well, Merry Trailer Park Christmas, or Happy Trailer Park Hanukkah, whichever you're celebrating now, because all these recipes can be used during that time, and I've got a recipe or a craft every day, and people are following along on a calendar at TrailerParkChristmas.com. And you can see that I've done all sorts of recipes, such as a chili corn dog pie. This, that was this past week, and that's great on a cold winter's night. And then we did quiche muffins. Those are great on Christmas morning, especially if you have relatives that stay over. Well, I see today that it's a recap of what we did this past week, and we'll talk about the recipes and the crafts that I've completed in the past few weeks and some of the questions that you may have. And also, I see that we're making a homemade potpourri because, you know, it, well, I've got to spray it down a little bit because no one likes a trailer that smells like onions or something like that on the holidays because you've got guests coming over, but, you know, I like the sprays, but, you know, they come over and people are like, wow, it smells good in here, but it smells like you've been doing laundry all day and... You know, they, they know they can see right through that. Well, today we're going to be making a great kind of potpourri that sits up on your stove top. We're going to be using a saucepan and some oranges and some spices from your spice rack and maybe some cranberries too to make it look real pretty. But this is a great little potpourri that sits up on your stove top that makes your trailer smell like you've been baking all day, not laundry because, I mean, they could probably figure out that maybe you would be baking more than you would be doing laundry because I don't do that yet. But this also makes a great little gift set that you can take to the hostess at a party or just a gift for friends that they could use over the holidays. So I'm going to show you how to make my homemade stovetop potpourri up next on Trailer Park Christmas 2012. I'll be right back. Welcome back. Making my stovetop potpourri is really simple, and it simmers up on your stovetop in an old saucepan, which I've got right here. What we're going to do is quarter up an orange first. So I've got that, and we're just going to put that right there in the actual bowl. Now this is going to make it smell like you've been baking all day. So we're going to use spices from the spice cabinet that actually go in some of the recipes that we normally fix. And this is cinnamon, and I'm just going to pour about a teaspoon of cinnamon in there. You can adjust it towards your actual smell and taste. And this is nutmeg. That's about a teaspoon of nutmeg right on in there. And I like to add just a few cloves. Now this could really make your um, actual potpourri strong and cloves overpower the citrus. So don't add too many. I like to add some colorful cranberries and these were actually in my freezer too long so they're just going to add some prettiness to the mixture. I like to add a dash of vanilla to that because that just adds to the baking smell just like that and just to make it look even more festive I add some cinnamon sticks right on into the mixture and this is some star anise and it looks like stars isn't that pretty for the holidays and we're just going to put that right on into the bowl. Now, we're going to cover this with some water. And we can fill it up quite a bit. Um, we don't want to overload it because we've got those spices and we want them very potent. But we can give this a mix around. And look at that. Look how that looks like the holidays right there. And... We're going to put this up on the stovetop and bring this to a simmer and 
this is just going to make your whole trailer smell good. And we're going to check back in just a moment, and I'm going to show you how you can put together a little gift, little package for your next uh, party that you go to for the hostess. And wow, this is already smelling good, and it hasn't even been heated up. You're going to have to keep your eye on it because if it um, actually boils down, you can add some more water to it and you can get a whole day's worth. You probably have to make some new the next day, but this really brings the smell of the holidays. So let's go ahead and start simmering this up on the stovetop. And there we have our homemade stovetop potpourri up on the stovetop simmering. And wow, this sure does make the trailer smell good. And we see the cranberries and the orange in there and the cinnamon and the star anise is so pretty in there. And it looks so great on the stovetop. And you don't really have to stir it, but I like stirring it. It makes me feel like I'm cooking and doing things. But it's such a great project to make to make your trailer smell good around the holidays. So much better than those room sprays. This really smells like you're baking and people can be faked out about that and that's so good and I'm gonna leave this simmer and I can add water to this all day you probably want to make some every day uh, with some fresh ingredients but you could also give this as a gift let's take a look and see how you could do that too my stovetop potpourri is great to give as a hostess gift this holiday all you have to do is take the spices that you would use, the orange and the cinnamon stick, and tie them up all pretty and put all the spices in plastic bags. Include a cute card and tell them how to put it together in the card. And they too can have a great smelling trailer this holiday. Wow, that was so much fun making the homemade stovetop potpourri. And it sure does make a great gift too, a hostess gift. And it makes your trailer smell so good. It smells so good in here. It smells like I'm baking something, but I really am not. And we've got the calendar that we're following along with. And if we look back during the week, we've done a lot of things so far. And on this past Thursday, we made a pine cone bird feeder. And that was so easy to make. And this is an important time for the birdies out in the nature. They need that peanut butter and the seed and they need to build up their bodies to get through winter and that's so great to make for a gift too, especially for some wildlife lover. And the day before that, on the Wednesday, we made a chili corn dog pie. And that could be spicy or it could be a little bit mild and it has that great cornbread topping and it's just a great recipe, especially on a cold winter's night that you can pull out and make for your family because it has just great taste with that chili and the chilies, the green chilies, you can pump that up or with the cheese. And then I see before that we made the quiche muffins and that's easy to make on like Christmas morning, especially if you have guests that stay over, they expect food somehow, I don't know. Um, not a, some sort of, you know, just instant treat, but this is really elegant to serve maybe with some salsa or maybe some grits on the side with that. And before that, we did a gelatin surprise, and that was really inventive. That was using cranberry sauce. Not many people like that out of the can um, that are outside the trailer park, and um, we kind of melted that down and made a frozen pie out of that, and it's just really great to take to a party. There's always time for a frozen pie. And even back the week before, we did a dryer sheet wreath, and that really makes your trailer smell pretty. And I've seen pictures, people have been doing that, and that's so pretty. I'm so happy to see your pictures. You can send those at uh, joelanesugarbaker at gmail.com. It's just so great to see what y'all are doing and what you're changing out to your own likes. And, um, but this calendar is up on trailerparkchristmas.com. You can follow along. There's still tons of more recipes and crafts before the 25th. It's Trailer Park Christmas 2012, and this was just a check-in to see how y'all are doing. Leave a comment down at the bottom and tell me how your holiday's going so far and what you got planned, or maybe what you're going to eat the next few days, or what you already made from the calendar, too. Leave a comment down at the bottom. That would be so interesting. But I see here tomorrow we're doing a banana pudding fudge, and that's so great. That can be cut up and give it gives. At, well, I can even talk now. It's been so crazy here in the Trailer Park Test Kitchen. You can give that as gifts, and um, that's just great to give. And it has the taste of banana, and the cookies are in it, too. But don't forget to follow me on Twitter. I'm Jolene's Trailer there. Add me as a friend on Facebook. I'm there, too. 
and add me on Google Plus. I'm there too. And of course, subscribe. There's a video every day until the 25th. I love spending the holidays with you, and I'll be back real soon with some more recipes and crafts. I'll see you soon, and make sure your trailer smells good too with that um, homemade stovetop potpourri. Bye bye. Slap on all your blue eye shadow. Watch out for that big tornado. Get all filled with Thunder. pride in the double wide. Spend the holidays, the trailer park away.